Ah, hey James. Hey James. What you doing? Well, I'm just leaning on this pile of questionable life choices. Huh. But why are you in a wardrobe? What's that? I said, why are you in a wardrobe? Oh, you know what you should do? What? You should make a list of those questionable life choices in front of that camera right there. What camera of a... Hey, what's going on guys? It's James here and just like I promised you in my last video and like I did at the beginning of last year, today I want to count down my top 10 best Nintendo pickups of 2018. Fair warning, this list is mostly going to be games because that is mostly what I collected last year. There are some pretty cool collectibles on here as well though. Also, I've got a new microphone. Some people were saying that I should get one. I've got a sort of clip-on condenser mic right here. I'm aware there is some hissing. Uh, please tell me what you think of the quality overall, but this is not a permanent thing. I will be saving up to get a better one in the future. For now, we'll just have to make do with this thing. Also, this list is sort of ranked in a way that's based on the amount of... Oh my god. I own that. That I still get from owning this thing today. So without further ado, let's get right into this list. Starting this list off, I thought I'd actually put these two games together. We have Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2. I've been meaning to buy these games for so long, but I put it off because my nunchuck that I did have before last year was broken, it was a third party one, it was so bad. It was mostly that the stick actually didn't function how an analog stick is supposed to function. And so after I had bought a new one, I'd been meaning to go buy these games, which I hadn't done, but then when we went on holiday, to Somerset, I think it was. I went to an independent game store and I found this for only eight pounds, which I think is a pretty good deal. And I got this for my sister for Christmas. Also something that I just wanna say is this time last year, I only had six Wii games and now I have 14. So yeah, I've done quite a lot of Wii collecting in this last year. If you remember in the summer of last year, I uploaded a video going to Nintendo New York for the first time. We had spent three whole weeks going all along the east coast of the United States, from Washington DC to Philadelphia to Boston to Cape Cod, and then finally finishing it off in New York. Because of course I already knew about the Nintendo New York store and I wanted to get as much stuff as I possibly could there, I had spent the first half of the year saving all of my money in order to buy the most stuff that I could when we went there. And one of my favorite things that I got there is this Splatoon Squid plush pillow thing. I'm not sure what it is. Outside of posters and the Amiibo, this is the only real bit of Splatoon merchandise that I have, which is really cool. It's got the squid design on the front there, and then on the back it says Splatoon 2 with some Japanese writing underneath. I think it's really cool, and I just really like it as a part of the collection. Just like with Mario Galaxy and Mario Galaxy 2, this is another game that I've been meaning to get for so long. Animal Crossing New Leaf is a game I picked up pretty late last year for about £20 or so. I'm really loving playing through this game. I haven't played it a whole lot, but what I have played I'm really loving and I'm really excited to play more of it. This one would definitely be higher up the list if I got it more recently but I only got it on the second day of 2018, which is why it doesn't excite me as much as some of the newer stuff that I have. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is an absolute masterpiece. I did a sort of thoughts on video about this last year. It wasn't really a review, although I did give it a score at the end, which I would rate it higher now, I think. It's one of my most played games on Switch and for good reason. The game feels fresh every single time you pop it back in, which is why I will love this game for years to come. Last year was the second time that I had ever been to Comic-Con and I enjoyed it more my second time than my first time. And one of my favorite things that I got there was the Detective Pikachu Amiibo. I haven't even played the game, I am excited for the film though. Honestly, I just wanted it because I think it's really cool. The actual quality of this thing I think is amazing compared to some of the earlier Amiibo, which is mostly what I have. And just having a really good quality figure that's this sort of size makes it feel really premium in a way. It is just really cool. Here's another thing that I got at the Nintendo New York store, which is this Game Boy Color backpack. I love the design of this so much, and it doesn't actually have the side pockets for like a drink or something. But that doesn't matter, because you know that I just own school 
when I'm wearing this. School is mine. Honestly, it's just one of the cooler Nintendo accessories that I have. And because we have a uniform at school, bags are really the only way that we can express ourselves through what we're wearing, which is why this is one of my favorite things that I got in 2018. Here's another thing I got on the America trip, not actually in New York, this was earlier in the trip, but this is one of the coolest things that I have, I personally think, which is the Super Mario cereal. Honestly, I wouldn't care about this if it wasn't so rare when it first came out, and if it weren't for the fact that you can't actually get this stuff in England. thought it tasted pretty nice, actually, if it wasn't bad. I mean, if you think about it, it's really just a cardboard cereal box I keep on a shelf. Wait, one sec. Hey, uh, James? Yeah? Why do we buy this thing? Uh... This next game was a present for both Christmas and my birthday, and that is Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. I've only got about five hours or so into this game, but considering this is this high up the list with that pretty low amount of playtime compared to some of my other games, that should show you how good this game is. What I think I like about this game so much is actually the Pokemon Go aspects, even though I was never crazy about Pokemon Go. Being able to see the Pokemon in the grass is so nice and useful, and I think the new catching mechanic is a breath of fresh air for the series. My main problem with the Pokemon games is that for me, they always feel repetitive. Half of the game is running around trying to find someone, something, or somewhere, and the other half of the game is battling. This mechanic sort of adds a third thing to do into the mix, which I think is really refreshing and it just makes me love this game. My favorite game of 2018 is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'm sure a lot of you could see this coming. I got so much Smash Ultimate stuff for Christmas and my birthday, which you might have seen in the last video. The game itself is so brilliant and I love it so much. In fact, the core gameplay alone of this game is so good that I haven't even touched World of Light at all. I've just been doing Smash Battles and a little bit of classic mode purely because that is enough to keep me satisfied for now which means i will be coming back to this game for years upon years to come because i haven't even got bored of the basic fighting yet and even dipped my toe in the single player this game is absolutely brilliant if you haven't got it you need to go pick it up if you've got a switch it is so good all right number one Again, if you watched my last video, this is probably going to be quite an obvious pick. I, I had to put it on top because I love it so much already and I only got it on the second last day of the year, which is my birthday. Of course, it is the Nintendo GameCube. When I made my last video, I didn't have any games for this thing. Now, if you look on the shelf back there, I have seven. I'm not going to tell you what they are. You have to wait until the last video this month to find out. Haha. <laughs> Although, when I bought the first ones of those games, I did forget to buy a memory card and I had to order one from Amazon, but I have one now so I can save my games, thank God. Honestly, I really love the design of this thing. The controller's also brilliant, and I'm having a lot of fun with every single game that I picked up for it so far. It's an amazing console and I really can't wait to play more of it. So those are what I would consider to be my top 10 best Nintendo pickups of 2018. So please go ahead and tell me what you picked up last year in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, they will be linked in the description. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye.